Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Soul Sundays. Sagittarius, it's a quick three card spread, one for your mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my high self, call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading of the sign of Sagittarius. Please tell me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for their week ahead. Can I please have three cards, one for mind, body and soul. Um, so how are you guys doing? We've had a little bit of energy change. Um, full moon and sign of Taurus. We've now got Mercury going direct on the 20th. Yay. Um, and a big one for you because it affects your sign. We have, um, uh, Mars going into Scorpio. Sorry. I just, uh, two messages coming in at once. Mars going into Scorpio. So for you, um, you're going to feel a, a revitalization of your energy. For some of you, you're coming up to your birthday um, next week, so it's all very exciting. But for this week, um, it, there's a little bit of um, soul stuff to get through. You've drawn the card of the Knight of Angels or the Knight of Swords, the Watcher. Um, this is typically known as the fastest moving knight in the deck. It's, it's really fast energy, energy that comes in, energy that goes out. Uh, and for you, it's, I think it's because you're revisiting a part of yourself before you get into this birthday cycle. Okay. Um, the cards described as, um, bravery, skill, swiftness, or heroic action, but in the book it's titled the watcher, right? And it says you can determine much of what you would and wouldn't like through observation, watch, learn, and direct your energy accordingly. So it's asking you to really take everything in and it's very religious in its symbol symbolism here with the religious symbols on the side. Okay. It talks about sudden change or chaos. Something's happening this week that's causing you a little bit of chaos before your birthday season begins. And it's literally described in the book as hold on to your halo. <laughs> um, so transformation's coming in. It's going to swift away anything that's holding you back from the fullness of love. It's time to, it's like clearing space. And I really feel like uh, as quick as this energy comes in, it's like next week, I wouldn't be surprised if the reading I do for you is all about love, romantic love, passion, that kind of thing. I can see the, sh the change coming through. And in the book, it's described as it may arrive as a whirlwind romance. There you go. Or friendship. Someone may sweep you off your feet, but leave just as suddenly. Don't take their departure personally. They arrive to help you reopen your heart. Don't close down. Keep living life with an open, loving heart and watch what comes to you. So it's really beautiful. It's about um, seeing things clearly, right? And not holding on to expectation. Have no expectations this week. I think that's the biggest advice. See what comes through because there's love being presented to you. I can see that coming around in the circle motion. In terms of your um, message this week for your body, it's avoid allergens. It's really asking you to avoid toxic and things, toxic beverages. Um, when you get busy, if there's certain foods or things that you fall upon, it's asking you to kind of like avoid those, you know, and um, we all have our own cruxes and it's asking you to be careful of that this week. If there are certain things that like, let's say dairy has an effect on you, it's asking you to avoid dairy this week. Okay. That kind of thing. But I really want to focus on this card of preservation. Um, if you have a look, this is your soul message for the week. Uh, really what I see when I look at this card is, um, birth, death and rebirth, right? It's all the cycles, the secular motion of life that's coming through. And for you, that's what this card's asking you to do. Just be, just sit back and watch, watch what comes to you, watch what comes through. But in doing that, you'll notice the energies come through to change, particularly um, as Neptune goes direct next week. So um, preservation really speaks about um, surrendering. Okay, and that's what this card's asking you to do too. Surrender to what's coming through. Understand that love is vulnerable. When you allow yourself to trust and believe that love is here for you, it will appear. You are safe, protected, and loved by the divine. Let love water the seeds of joy, creativity, and contentment that lie within you. So it's like a slow awakening to love. It's like you're finally waking up and you're like, yeah, I think I'm ready for that again. Okay. Really beautiful energy. If you just sit back and watch, I guarantee you next week when I do this reading, I have to almost link them now and check for myself, but I'll see a lot of love energy coming through. Be careful with what you're putting in your body, what you're consuming. If you haven't washed your sheets for a little while, it's time to do that. Dust, do that kind of thing. Avoid allergens as much as you can. And I think you'll have a great week. All right, my loves, I wish you much love and light. Take care.